What's up everybody, Derek here, and today we're gonna go looking at that boat right there. That is a Tahoe T16. I haven't looked at one of these boats in quite a while. I looked at one back in 2021, I believe, and I remember the prices or close to the prices on that thing. So we're gonna go compare and see in kind of an updated version of this one and kind of walk through it and see what it looks like. This is definitely not a bad looking boat at all. I mean, these are super light boats. They don't have monster motors or nothing, but they have just what you need to get out there on the water and have fun with a family. You could even convert one of these to be a little fishing boat, but single axle trailer. It's just a 16 footer, but let's see what goodies it's got on it. It's a 2023 T16 Tahoe with a 75. So it's total length of 16 and a half foot, 75 horse, 13 gallon fuel the beam seven foot six and it weighs 2200 pounds total like that's trailer and all so six people so a whole family basically so you the wifey two kids and grandpa and grandma or however you end up going about it could get out there on the lake and be legal all right here we go 267 per month at 180 months and our I think I remember the other boat was just under 200 back in 2021. I think it was 144 months or something like that. But I think it was 21,000. So look at how much the prices have gone up. But all boats, all vehicles, just about everything has gone up in price. So 32,000, not too extremely bad, but this is a very aerodynamic looking boat. It's gonna cut through water pretty good, but it just won't have as much to displacement as some other boats so with six people in there could bog down a little bit but at least it's got a swing away hitch so you can I mean if you were putting it in the garage and it was right up to the nose of that it's not gonna make it but a couple inches more so it could fit in a normal size garage so a two-car garage this thing could possibly fit but it's got a nice little bimini top keep shade during the summer let's go back here and there's the 75 not bad and a telescoping ladder right there for getting in and out so you don't got to worry so much so just bungee cord this thing loose and it'll come right off let's see yeah just like that and pop that bungee cord off of there and you're getting in and out pretty easy but i'll try and not get on these seat cushions but it is a nice looking boat these flip up got little storage spots back in here little spot back in here with this let's see i don't know if we can get in here oh, will it make it oh you can get down in there so it's got the bilge oh man look at all that room back in there wow so you could potentially put a hatch, more hatches in the floor if you wanted to. It's got all kinds of room down in there. Then that pad flips over. You got more storage and cup holders back here. So somebody could hang out back here and get some sun. Yeah, it's got a nice little setup here. Let's see what we got in here. That flips back. This pops up more storage that looks like a cooler possibly yeah you got plastic right here so this is a cooler with the drain and then this pops up and do these nope that is there so you got storage over here same over here same over here fire extinguisher it's got some nice seating all right, we got a digital display. So this is, I believe, an upgrade from the last ones with the analog displays. I have not seen this yet, which is kind of cool. But you got all kinds of gauges here. So they kind of fancified it a little bit. It looks pretty clean with those, the switches like this. I like it. And then throttle right here. So you can really just kind of kick back, put your arms back and cruise, really. All right, eh, no storage there. So you could probably put storage in a lot of these places, honestly, if you wanted to customize, but 
Yep, definitely. There's a drain down in there, so you could store in there. Nothing there. More storage here. The little bitty windshield. Nice top, looks like. But could you put a trolling motor on here? I am sure there, I mean, the angle's down this way. So I'm sure there's a way to where you could make a bracket to level off here. Some way. You could probably put in a aluminum on the bottom underneath this and then a bottom under on the top here and clamp it together with some risers to level that off. And you could have a quick disconnect for a trolling motor if you need it. And then when you're not out there fishing or planning on going fishing or, or doing family stuff for the day, then you could put it away. Just a thought. Well, guys, that's a pretty nice boat for what it is for the price, but it's kind of depressing if you had known boat prices a year, two, three years ago. They have just gone up so much over the years. I, it, the inflation, gas, all of those variables that are thrown into there, but that is definitely a good family-sized boat. I mean, a lot of people downsize to John boats and other stuff. Instead of having a bass boat or a fiberglass boat or any of that stuff, well, you want a wakeboard boat, you want a tubing boat, that's a good alternative right there for the price because those things are even more expensive. But thanks for watching you guys and subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one.